Right, so this video will be about the Russian tier 6 cruiser, the Budyonin. Apologies if I didn't pronounce that correctly. And this ship is, well, I'm not sure. It's a fire starting cruiser, but is can you do anything else? Well, I don't know, but let's start. So, the Budioni is a light cruiser for the Russian Navy, it's tier 6. It is your ge general Russian cruiser, fast, weakly armoured, long range, powerful high explosive. So, it 21,000 hit points, like, it's not very good. And a damage reduction of only 6%, like, that's hell you levels of damage reduction and we know how quickly it takes to destroy a Heryu if you're in a battleship. It, the speed's good, it's 34.59 knots. It's got decent turn time. Now the real the guns, they're 152 millimeters, you have nine of them and three triple turrets. You have 7.8 reload second reload time you have a te almost 11 kilometer range which is quite good you've got decent amounts of damage for both high explosive and armor piercing but you have a six second fire chance which is great the only thing that beats that is the Imperial Japanese Navy heavy cruisers and they're heavy cruisers so they have long rates of fire. The torpedoes, they're Russian, like you hardly ever use these. They have 51 second reload time, 3360 base damage, 450 kilometer range and normal speed, normal flooding. The AA isn't very good either, and the surface detection again is not great, but it's still a good ship. So for your elite bonus, I haven't got an elite bonus because I haven't upgraded it yet, but either works. The cruiser modernization is good because of the traverse speed for your main battery and your hit points and the gun director is good for your range so both are good to have then for your supplies cruiser stuff your equipment now i've gone with the traverse and a double steering because if I'm getting shot at, I need to be able to to dodge. Because otherwise, I'm just going to be beaten to the ground. Because it's a Russian cruiser. No, I command it. I just got this ship, so... Just recently, actually, from a mission crate. And, well, I only have a level 4 commander. So I've got my underwater protection expert, I've got battlefield support for an extra AA, I've got artillery maintenance because that's generally what you'd want in that slot, I have air defense expert for my air defense, next I would do fire suprem- I'd do fire supremacy, the exploit weakness, then the marksman, then I would do the extinguisher actually, not the adrenaline rush. Then I would do the demo expert, followed by the honor seeker. Uh, the both work, 
the IFHE and the APCS, but APCS is generally more reliable, so that's what I'd do. Because the IFHE doesn't actually make much of a difference, I find. And then, for your last one, you'd want Horizontal Protection Expert for the protection. So, let's have some battles. Hopefully they come quickly. Now, even though this ship has an AA expert, it does not mean it's an AA ship. It's not like the American cruisers. It can't shoot down tons of planes. At least at this tier. And it is also not the best in terms of armor protection, not the best in terms of guns, they're, they're Russian guns so they're very good, probably best light cruiser guns actually, and uh, yeah everything else is basically average except for the torpedoes, the torpedoes are horrible. Hopefully we get to a battle soon, maybe even a tier 5. Five and six battle. Is there are things that... and in this ship you want to target battleships. All right, so we've got an Issei, Arizona, Bayern, Fiji, Bot Ober, Icarus, and Farragut. So I'm most likely going to target that Bayern because it's German, so it sets on fire easily. So. One thing you don't want to do in this ship is rush ahead. Even though you have high speeds, if you're the first to be spotted, then every, the whole enemy team is going to target you. And then you'll be dead. And that won't be much help for you. I'm gonna say spread out because it's this map and I don't have fond memories of this map when I was playing in the Normandy. The Issei Isa is sending scouts, which isn't great. My AA alert. Shoot some rounds at the Farragut. Maybe I can even kill it. And no more Farragut. And Arizona. Alright, that's not the Byron. They're not shooting me. There's our first fire. And they damage Conda single fire. Your mistake. Someone's going to have a few more fires. No fires here. There's a fire. Going to use my repair because I'm in a Russian ship and I'm being shot at. I'm going to angle. The fire's gone out. Hopefully, I can get another fire, maybe? Is it Icarus? Wait. Load armor piercing. Going to aim at that Icarus. Because I do not want it coming near me. Because it could hurt. So I'm going to start going forward. Good job. Roger that. 
Sean Horse takes him out. The Issei is targeting me again. My explosive air defense alert. Our torpedoes. Oh, so let's hope I can diminish the aircraft of this ship, of the Issei, because it doesn't have very many. Now, you have, you'll find that you'll be using all your heals in this ship. Okay. Well, 35k damage so far. Two and a half minutes left. Less than half health. And that Arizona, if it got a clean shot at me, could end me. Just like that. But it's not going to, because I've got my bow in, so I don't just die. Oh, looks like they're turning. Going to reverse. Because I don't want to get too close. I want to stay at my maximum range. Damaged module. No. Just going to keep going backwards. Sean Horst will easily kill him. Here we go. Sean Horst gets him. We're winning. They only have a cruiser and a battleship. Even with our high speeds, I don't we'll be able to see them before the, I doubt we'll be able to get a shot out of them. Ah, that's the Issei that's left. If they killed our battleship right now, they'd win. Oh, there's the Fiji. Maybe I can get a shot. Ones. Ooh, we win. So next battle, that one we didn't do the best, but we we only got three fires, but. Let's hope we can do better next round with more fires. Alright. Two Colorados, an Ismail, a Sirius, and some other ships. No, let's go A cap. And C cap. Maybe? No, it seems, seems like how destroyers want to go to B. 
Hello. Aka, can you go to A? No. And there's a battleship there. Yeah, I, I'm not going to go. That battleship would end me very quickly. That battleship. Colorado. Uh oh. Oh, he overshot. And this is serious. Amazing. Oh, you should probably. Okay, go straight ahead. It's a bad idea. Let's launch those torpedoes and there's a fire. And there is men. Now they're not damage conning yet. So either they don't have a damage con available or they're being smart since they're at full health. I'm guessing it's B. Ooh, our f we're being flanked. Switch to armor piercing to get rid of that ogre. Though it might die. Though it seems it'll die anyway. You get the kill. Switch to high explosive. Oh, and we should see we got C cap. Let's shoot that Ismail. Oh, who they shoot? Ah, uh, the feet almost dead fuse it. Alright. Fire on the Colorado. You put it out. Yeah, let's get the Colorado then. I wonder who I hit. Ah, and Perma Fire on the Colorado. Let's see if we can get another one. That's six fires so far this game. I get the kill. Don't keep ignoring those ships because this is Mel is at my max range. Meaning, what is this prime target? There we go. Not got a gun to it. Ouch. Very accurate, those rushing battleships. They haven't repaired their turrets and they overshot. Okay, well, that's one that is now. There's two perma fires. It is now to fix Get it on my PC. Put in my hand. He's sleeping around. 
This way it's more likely I'll be able to shoot that battle with a Colorado. Yep, it is a Colorado. Continue to do what I do best. Just shoot a bunch of high explosives. I said most of my shots are only doing 190 damage. That's normal. Since I'm just shooting. Um, looks like we got MVP. So it's a very good ship, the Budioni, if you play it right. If the enemies are targeting you, you're going to be back to port. So with the Budioni, it's basically luck. You're, you have it, the luck determinant, because if you don't see any enemies, me. If no one shoots you, then you're going to do really well. If everyone's shooting you, you're not going to do so well. So overall, it's a really good ship. At least if played properly. It's also, actually, maybe, well, I wouldn't say it's one of my favourites, but I really like this ship. And hopefully I can get the shores soon because that, to me, is basically the exact same thing with another turret. So hopefully that will happen and then I can do a review on the shores. But I can't do that yet. So I hope all of you have a good day. And goodbye.